We're on the road again. On the road again. In the dark. No, Seatbelt, Gary. Click it or take it. I know. I'm trying to set the car up. I know it. We're fogging out. It's just a little after midnight and we are finally hitting the road. It's actually a lot earlier than we thought we were going to leave. We weren't planning on leaving until 3, but what happened was is uh, we stayed up packing. And then once we realized what time it was after we finished packing, we were like, you know what? Let's leave. Let's hit the road. Yeah. So, we did. <laughs> we stayed up ever since. Yes. We will see you guys here as soon as I get some better lighting. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. I woke up and uh what, 10 miles away from Texas? Six. Six exactly. miles away from Texas. Gary's been driving all night. Yeah, or all morning, I should say. I went with him. It's been 1230 since we left. Yeah, no, I guess you're right. That's technically all morning. <laughs> We've all been with him the whole ride. Oh. No, you were sleeping too. You were all asleep. I don't know what uh -huh. you're talking about, all right? Yeah, but you've been awake for the last couple hours, though. Okay? You've, yes, you've, been... you've been awake for the longest out of all of us people in the car. Minus me. Yes. I am not all yeah, of Yeah, minus death. <laughs> minus me. Minus death. Oh, I'm going to be having to swap seats here in a bit. Yep, I'm going to take over for the second leg. But uh, it's crazy, man. I went to sleep and there's trees everywhere. And now I wake up and the vastness is for real. Yeah, it's uh, pretty flat out here. It is. Uh, the sun is actually chasing behind us. It's um, it's gonna be rising here really soon. This is what we're looking at now. The vastness is for real. Yep. And there's that giant big blue wall cloud that Abe was talking about. It's a mountain cloud. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that, huh, baby? Nuts that everything looked dead. Walking alive. We're not quite in the desert yet, but I woke up and I was like, I woke up in the desert. Yeah, it's uh, everything's just gonna get deader and deader on the way out. <laughs> browner and browner. Yep. And drier and drier. It is definitely a heck of a drive. Oh, look at this. You can see the sun coming up just over on Gary's shoulder in the rear view. Yep. Starting to uh, come up and over the clouds slash mountain back there. I don't know if it's mountain or if it's just a cloud, but they're back there. They're back there. <laughs> That's beautiful. The uh, camera is not doing it justice, but man, it is starting to get brighter and brighter. It's literally coming up right now. Mm -hmm. About halfway up, I said. I don't want to look at that sun. Yeah, don't oh, look at blinding. the sun. Blinding by yeah, light. Clear. We are going to be in Texas in five, four, three, two, and a one. We are in Texas. Welcome to Texas. You know, I am not surprised that the second we get into Texas, now we need some sunglasses. Yeah. <laughs> and isn't it ironic? <laughs> a little bit. I, that sun is definitely blinding, man. Yeah, it's coming up and it's starting to get brighter and brighter. Oh, look at little this over that way, man. Nope. Still not out of the, still not out of the clear. That, that sun is just like beating right off that side view mirror, man. It's chasing us, and we're gonna be on this long straight road for a while, so. Yep. Wait, there yeah, are yeah.
making some road lunch. <laughs> do what you gotta do. Mm-hmm. We are locked and loaded down here. Do you want a triple, baby? Yes, please. Yep, Mel is making uh, everybody a sandwich. I got all the kiddos a uh, banana and some chips. Is there anything else you guys would like? I got them also a Sunny D, you know. Is there anything else you guys want? Uh -huh. You want a beef jerky beef stick? stick? Yes. All right, I'll get him a beef jerky stick as well. We don't got a whole lot of room in the car for everything, so got to pull everything out. We're gonna get ourselves some lunch and then we're gonna hit the road. I think we're only like uh, 219 miles away from Albuquerque. We're making some really good time today. I'm really happy about that. So. Where are we right now, babe? We are in New Mexico. We're in New Mexico? Yep. I thought we were in Texas for some reason. No, we just crossed the border. The border is right there. There's one for one kid. One for one kid, all right. Let's see who gets it first. All right, one sandwich is up. I'm starving. One sandwich is up. Oh yeah. Here's a baby wipe. Here's a baby wipe for you. Don't make a mess and make sure you guys throw away all your trash in the trash bag. I gave you guys a, a baby wipe each. Man. All right, we'll see you guys here in just a sec. traveler that escaped all the way from Arkansas, land of the flies. That stupid fly is not going to know what to do when he buzzes outside and he finds himself in the desert. Well, oh, shrivel up and die. Shrivel up and die. <laughs> tell you what, my voice is shrivel up and dying already. I can feel it. Yep. It's so dry out here.
All right, friends. Well, we just arrived to our destination here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. I've already actually gone up to the room once just to check it out, got my room key, and now we're gonna get all of our stuff in and take her to the top, show you guys the room. Here, I got, the, I got the, okay. I got you. I got you, guys. Bring them on in. Here. We've arrived. We've arrived. Those bags worked out good, huh? Uh-oh, get that. We're on two? Yep. Oh, you tired, baby. You tripped it out and drove all night. I'm exhausted. I am super exhausted. Well, there's a nice comfy bed waiting for you. I have a feeling we're going to have an early night. Guess what? Yes. Daddy, there's there's a couch that turns into a bed. Yep. Oh, yeah? yeah. We've already seen the room, but Daddy hasn't because he was looking to park. Yeah. Cool. Yep. I have the big one. Go on in, guys. I'm waiting for Go on in. Nice you refilled the gas too? I refilled the gas too. Nice. So we just gotta wake up, grab our breakfast, and then hit the road. Hit the road again. Is that is the thing? Well, we're over here We're off on the side. Huh? Yep, yeah, we're all private. Excuse me, sweetheart. I like that. And oh, wow. here's our room. One at a time, you guys. One at a time. One at a time. And then. It looks so nice. Ooh. Oh, man. And then the whole room back here. You got fancy on me, huh? Yeah. yeah so look. It does turn it. That's what really does turn it. Wow. That's showing me the sink, though. It's here. It goes to that. Wow. It's fancy in here. We it's got a nice two room. TVs, two models. We're only here for a day. All of our hotels should be something like this. So this is mom and dad's. Here, let me see the bathroom. Okay. Yay. Okay, let's start setting up. Okay. So we're staying at a bunch of Hilton properties because my sister got us hooked up with the friends and family rate. So thank you, Dawn, for hooking us up amongst our travels. We really appreciate you. And now we're able to have a nice uh, secluded one bedroom, pull out couch over there, two beds in that room. It's a nice, it's a nice suite. I've got a dishwasher in here if I wanted to cook something. I got a stove top, a good size refrigerator, microwave. They send you with all the dishes and pots and pans and everything that you would need. And a toaster. And a toaster, your own little coffee pot. Um, they they really hook it up in here. Now that we made it to our destination, Gary and I are super wiped from today's traveling. Yes. Um, we're gonna settle in for a little bit, figure out what we're going to get for dinner, even though it's early, because no. I have a feeling that we're, I mean, we're just wiped. I think we're just gonna have an early night tonight. All right, we can wake up early and yeah. hit the road again. Yeah, Albuquerque today is just a pit stop to our final destination. It was just a, we gotta stay somewhere, get some more rest, and then that way tomorrow we can keep on going. And Utah's our destination for tomorrow, so. Yes. So it's gonna be beautiful. It's yep. super awesome. I'm uh, super happy with how today has turned out, you know, and uh, mm -hmm. I'm surprised that I, I stuck it through. I'm surprised you did too. You look super tired though. I'm exhausted. Yeah. I am. I am burnt and beat. Yep. Uh, we're all burnt and beat. So we're going to uh, to catch back up with you here in a little bit. Maybe we'll have some dinner with y'all. I don't know. Maybe we'll see you in the morning. But we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. For right now, we're getting off of this thing. Catching right. a few. The following day. Well, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. How was your stay, children? Good. Right. Yeah. You sleep good? Yes. Yeah. I passed out like a rock. Oh, I bet you did, Gary. <laughs> it was like four o'clock. I passed out and I woke up this morning. So, yeah, it was it was a long sleep, but well needed because, man, that was a long drive. <laughs> you were awake for more than 24 hours. I was. I was awake for probably like about 
40. what is that 30 hours something like that it was it was a long one and you were working all of it and then driving and pat yeah you thank you baby thank no. you so i'm uh yeah i'm super happy i'm well rested though i'm i'm nice and awake and i'm good to go yeah for another uh you know leg not no 30 no another leg of the journey another 16 <laughs> hours you know like normal <laughs> <laughs> Well, friends, we've already packed up and cleaned up our hotel room. We're all ready to hit the road again. Before we leave, they are offering a free continental breakfast downstairs yes. with waffles and sausage and eggs and hash browns and fruit and all the fixings. So we're going to go downstairs and feed those kiddos, and then we're going to get on the road again. Oh, yeah. I can see your breath. That actually feels amazing. Look at that breath. <laughs> That's like that, that smell and that feel. Chris. That brings back a lot of memories of the desert. Not gonna lie, you don't get that nice crisp smell like that. You know, fumes of gas. Um, <laughs> the city, the city smell. That city stank. The city stank. <laughs> All right, Pac-Man. All right. Wapa 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 wapa. Go get some breakfast. Go get breakfast. Go do all your things. You meet up with us? I'll meet up with you guys. And, uh, yeah, we'll get this, uh, you know, what is that game called? Tetris. Tetris, yeah. I'll get it all Tetris out. Went from Pac-Man to Tetris? Mm -hmm. Kicking it old school? Oh, yeah, one more yeah. thing. We saw hot air balloons. Yeah. We did. I don't know if really you could see, see it from down here. We're going, I believe we're going that way. So we might be flying, or... We might be driving underneath them while they're Flying hot balloons. air ballooning or ballooning. Ballooning. Yeah. What do you call that? Flying. <laughs> Flying or Launching. ballooning. Right. I gotta get these launching. kids some breakfast. I'll meet you at the uh, breakfast spot. Okay. All right. Tetris time. Well, that's the Tetris stuff. And I got road snacks. Oh. All right. Go throw these road snacks in here. Everybody's got their blankets and pillows in here. I'm gonna have to scrape the windows, it looks like. All right. One hour later. Some mountains. Yeah, we've some seen plateaus and whatnot. Some snow on them desert hills. Mm -hmm. 
we're definitely in the desert. Yeah, we're in the high desert. I wonder what the elevation is up here. I don't know. My ears have been popping though. Yeah. You know? I haven't seen a sign yet that says, hey, you're at this elevation. You know? No, but if we do, I'll try to snatch it for you guys and show you all. But man, it's so pretty out here. You can see for thousands and thousands of miles. This is uh, what we were talking about the other day about those really long views and big sky. So if you're a stargazer or uh, like to watch the clouds roll by when there are clouds, <laughs> this is definitely the place to do it. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely, uh, we're in like no man's land. That's for sure. Middle of nowhere. I don't see no man. <laughs> Except for, you know, the cars going by. Yeah, there's, it's literally, this is a desert limit right here, man. Yep. And there is such a beauty to it, you know, even though there isn't really a whole lot, you know, out there. there there's some mountains, some plateaus, and, you know, some bushes to look at. It's, uh, <laughs> it's pretty nice, I'm not going to lie. And lots some cows of, over there. Lots of pretty blue skies. Yeah, lots of beautiful blue skies, man. Yeah. Uh, definitely reminiscing, you know, being out this way, just looking at it. It's like, man. Yep. Can't believe we spent the majority of our lives out here. Mm -hmm. And now, you know, it's kind of weird because I still, I'm reminiscing too, right? And it feels uh, homey, but at the same time, Arkansas has become our my, home. yeah, our home in such a way that it's irreplaceable. What? Like, the desert's gorgeous. I'll always have a love, a deep love and respect for the desert. Yes. But, I don't know, there's just something about them hills in Arkansas. Mm -hmm. It's definitely become our home now, so, yep. yeah. It's definitely going to be a... Uh a good like like just waking up because I have a feeling when we get home it's going to be dark you know it'll be gonna, nighttime, yeah. we're going to wake up and look up at that mountain again and we're going to be like wow you know it got green while we were gone yeah I have a feeling it will be getting really green by the time that we get home because mm -hmm. things were already starting to pop yeah. um, and then you know we've had so many rainstorms and stuff at home that's usually a, a good sign that spring is on the way yeah, that's a good so sign right there yeah plus um you know the other day i was taking a walk and i noticed that all of those um the lilies the ditch lilies and stuff that we planted with the fram bam last year mm -hmm. they're starting to pop out yeah. and um some of them are flowering some of them aren't yet so that's another good telltale sign that spring is on the way so yep it's a uh, it's gonna be nice man yeah. i'm uh, looking forward to this whole drive right here going yep. through the mountains and everything i miss the mountains yeah. To be quite honest. I don't uh, miss the dryness though. I'm already getting pretty scaly. I can feel yeah. feel the dryness. I need to stop and get some Vaseline somewhere because Vaseline is the desert cure. Yes. So more than any lotion, more than anything. Um, you know, yeah, living Vaseline. In Vaseline. Yeah. Twenty years in the desert, I learned my lesson. You use Vaseline on your skin. Yep. And you would think you'd be really greasy, right? But you're not. It your your skin just <laughs> sucks it up pretty quick. <laughs> yep. So I'll have to stop and get some, but Man, check it out. Look at this little uh, shack over here by the mountain. There was somebody's homestead at one point. Somebody had a homestead there. Yep. Yep. It's really nice to be able to see some of these old ghost towns and like old homestead spots out here and kind of just think about who lived there and what their life was like and mm -hmm. I don't know it's just fun to ponder there's a lot of uh, abandoned buildings you know in the desert area yeah a lot and it's uh it's pretty crazy especially when you find the history about them all and everything else you know yeah and a lot of it came you know from the uh great depression era and everybody you know heading west to go work on the dam and, 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 and the also gold, the, the gold california rush gold rush the 1800s and yeah everything. Yep. So it was a mix of all that. And then it was also, you know, the whole, uh, was it the Dust Bowl era as well? I think that was part people. of the, the Great Depression. That was I'm part of what sure made too. the Great Depression. But, yeah, I know. It was, uh, it's a lot of that, you know, and it's a lot of those historical places that around, you know. Yeah, the West Coast has, um, like, newer American history where the South and the East, they have, you know, like the Founding Fathers and like they have some more of the older uh, American history. So yeah. it's just cool to travel, man. It's cool to uh, look at a bunch of different places, even if you're just passing by on the side of the road as we're making it to our next destination mm -hmm. and sit and ponder and have those conversations. And I don't know, this trip has been very relaxing so far, though. Um, yes. Our stay in the hotel was really nice. The hotel was really clean. The staff was great. Breakfast was really great. Yeah, that was good. 
Yep, we had some super good. some eggies and some uh, potatoes and sausage and oh. different things. It was good. Hitting a speed limit change. Oh, thirty five. Turn off that cruise control. Yeah, I turned it off. I'm gonna reset it. Reset it to fifty seven. But yeah, so today's drive. How many hours do we got today to the next to our next stop? It says about eight hours. Okay. So we don't got much. Oh, elevation change. Oh, it's oh. 6,800 feet right now. 6,800 feet where we are. That's like 10 times higher than our mm -hmm. mountain. Over a mile high in elevation. It's crazy. You know how to remember a mile in feet? How's that? Five tomatoes. All right, so 5280. Oh. 5,280 feet is one mile. The more you know. Yeah, so <laughs> we're over 1,000 feet. Above a mile. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. No. Nope. No wonder my ears are popping. I know. I was saying mine have been popping. But so today, guys, our destination, we're going to be, we're still in New Mexico. We're going to be making our way up, though. We're going up through Colorado, kind of like that, um, the southwest corner of Colorado. Yep. And then we're going to be going all the way through Utah, um, up in the, um, Salt Lake, Saratoga Springs area, and we're going to be spending the next five days there hanging out with Gary's family, um, having a lot of fun in that area, doing some sightseeing and some adventuring. Yep. Um, we'll bring you guys all along for it, but I think right now we're going to pump up the jam, keep our conversation going, and uh, keep showing you guys some beautiful sights. We'll check back in with you here in a little bit. Oh, yeah. Stopping at this random little gas station. Still in New Mexico, um, we decided we're gonna make a pit stop along the way. And it's someplace that I've never been, but it sounds really cool. So, got about another hour and 40 minutes till we're there. So, we're just gonna keep cruising on this thing and uh, enjoy the views. It's definitely very beautiful. You could see for thousands of miles in every direction. It's crazy. I haven't seen views like this in years since uh, we moved to Arkansas, so definitely pretty cool. Enjoying the trip, that's for sure. All right, well, we just decided to stop over here and check this out, because I've never been here. No. Nope. I know the kids have never been here. No. Nope. 
it's been a long time ago since I've been here. I was a little one myself. Yeah. And I remember all of the structures being wood. <laughs> <laughs> That's how long ago it was. And now they're all like rock. Oh, it's all so, block and everything else. So yeah. Well, this is pretty cool though. We are definitely in the middle of nowhere. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you take a look around, it's uh, still on the desert. It wow. looks like like that forever, nope. forever and ever and ever. But this is a spot where you can actually be in four places at once. It's yep. a national monument here in the United States. It's called the Four Corners, where yep. you can be in four states at one time. At New Mexico, Arizona, Utah, and Colorado. All yep. meet up at one point. Yep, and that's where we are right now. So we're gonna take the kids over there. We're gonna check out the Four Corners, stretch our legs a little bit, probably make us some lunch, mm -hmm. and then get back on the road. All righty, let's do it. I remember, uh, come in here when I was a, lee, a wee little one. I think I was like eight or something like that. Scarlet Sage? Something like that, yeah. I was like eight or maybe seven, maybe nine, something like that. Wow. I think we're in uh, Arizona right now. Yep, this, you see that cement line? Mm -hmm. We're on Arizona side right here. So, now we're in New Mexico. <laughs> Both at the same time. It's pretty cool. Come on kiddos. <laughs> Kids are pretty tired. Yeah. Yeah. Let's walk around and look at look at the little store oh, stuff. Oh, they got little souvenirs. They got little stuff. Seems like a good place for a simple life claim sticker. <laughs> we were here. <laughs> wow! That's pretty cool. We got Lightning McQueen and they also got the uh, mystery machine over there. <laughs> Twilight Zone! <laughs> Where are we? Somewhere out of Moab? Jackass Joe's. We're outside of Moab. Okay. Somewhere out of Moab, Utah. A Jackass Joe's right off the 70. We were here. <sighs> 
white fries. It's uh, been so long. Oh, it's been so long. It's been a long time. <laughs> oh man when you don't have it for like a couple of years and you get the opportunity to have it you're gonna have it yeah i'm gonna have it too i have some medicine up because <laughs> i can't not have it man i can't <laughs> in and out I know, me too. I've been waiting like years for this. Years. Years. Yeah, I've heard now the grapevine that they're uh, setting up a main hub in Tennessee, which means that Arkansas is going to have some here soon. Dude, I wish. It's going to happen. It's in the works. Here's another drink Neapolitan shakes. What do you mean? I got you a Neapolitan shake, buddy, and I got you a hamburger and fries. Here you go, here's another drink. That's it. Kids, what do you guys think about In N Out? I can't even see you, Abe. <laughs> there you are. What do you think about it? I'm Batman. What about you, Scarlett? Julia? Daddy, it's the moment we've been waiting for. Cheers. 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 <laughs> <laughs> the moment we've been waiting for. Mm. Nothing like in and out, man. All right, we're gonna grub down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs>